Hey, what's up guys? This is Andre or Chokenator if you know me from my stream. And I have yet another Krita animation tutorial for you guys. I'm going to show you how to import animation frames. Now this is a feature that I didn't really discover until I had already been animating for a while. I got a project about rotoscoping. And uh, that's one of the things this is used for. This feature is useful for um, rotoscoping, or if you want to study some animations frame by frame, or maybe if you have an animation in another program, uh, you can render an image sequence and import it into Krita. So those are the many functions of this. There might be more that I haven't thought of. Um, but anyway, it's over here, File, Import Animation Frames. As you can see, it's right next to Render Animation over here. Go to Import Animation Frames. And here's the important part, Add Images. Um, now, I have uh, pre-made a folder for you guys. Um, this is some from some random anime. Um, I don't really know what it's from, but uh, I, I had to like pretty much copy this animation, but with a different character. Um, that's what I had to do. So uh, as you can see, it's important that the frames are numbered. Uh, and usually when you render a PNG sequence or an image sequence, um, or you download an image sequence, uh, they're usually going to be numbered already. But make sure, just make sure they... Uh, are in order because sometimes when you upload the frames, uh, they are not uploaded in order. So I'm going to go ahead and open those. Um, and just to make sure it's in order, I'm going to expand this, this window. And as you can see over here, 0, 0, 1, 0, 2, 0, 3, etc. They're all in order. Now you can change the order to make it backwards if you change this to descending order. But I want it to be in ascending order. So starting from 0 to 13 here. And you can also change whether it's nu in numerical order or alphabetical order. It's pretty much the same thing. Um, because the, at least for here, uh, these are numbers. Um, and you can also set what frame it starts at. So uh, yeah, I'll just let it start at frame 0. And then how many uh, frames between the images. So if you go 2, then it'll be pretty much on the 2s. Or the animation will upload at every other frame. And I can also demonstrate that too. But let's leave it at 1. So it'll look like this. And it took a little bit of time to upload that. But as you can see, if I scroll through these frames, that there it is from the animation. So now they are in the timeline in Krita. And if I undo that, let's undo. Um, if I import again, let's add the same frames. And let's put a step of two between them. So now it's going to look like this. And now you can see in the timeline here, they are one frame uh, apart. And this would be on the two. So if I were to play this, it would actually look like an anime because animes are usually drawn on the twos. So that's pretty much it. That's how to do it. Um, uh, this might not be a feature you've heard of, um, but uh, yeah, it can be pretty useful if, for certain things. And that's pretty much it. So I hope you guys like that tutorial. Hope it helps you. And maybe you guys can experiment it with a little bit. And maybe let me know in the comments if you find any other uses for it besides something like rotoscope or studying frames or importing animation from another program. All right, see you guys later. Bye-bye.